guys, what's up? It's Sunj. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, it's very, very exciting because I'm doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. I never really got a chance to thank you guys for 500 subscribers. It's really means a lot to me, that's a really big number, and there's no better way to thank you guys than to reward you with some makeup. So I really apologize if you aren't into makeup, because basically everything in this giveaway is makeup related, but these are some really nice high-end expensive products I think you will enjoy if you are into makeup, and that's pretty much it. In order to enter, you just have to be subscribed, and you have to comment down below any future videos you'd like to see from me. Remember, I can check if you're subscribed, so don't try to cheat. Um, but yeah, so that's that's it for the intro. Let's get on with the video. So before I get into any of the products, I just want to give a little disclaimer. Everything I'm showing you guys in this video is mine, and it has been used, but you will not be receiving these products. Uh, I'll have the palettes and stuff to show you because I want to open them up. It's one of my biggest pet peeves when people film giveaways and they're like, you're gonna be winning this palette and they're like, okay, next. And I'm like, what's, like, what's in the palette? Why aren't you showing us opening it up, swatching it? But I guess they can't do that if they don't already own one. So this is mine and then you guys are gonna be getting the ones that are fresh in the box and everything like that. Once again, this one is mine, and this is the one that you guys are getting, the ones that's in the box. So don't fret and be like, yeah, it's a scam. She's literally giving us her used makeup. I promise you I would never do that. So everything in this video is mine. It's used because it's mine, but you'll be getting new products, I swear. All right, so you guys already saw a couple of the things that I'm giving away, but of course the first things are my Holy Grail favorite Morphe palettes. I think that everybody needs at least one of these in their makeup collection. So you guys are gonna be winning two. Of course, this is one that everyone talks about, the 350. You guys already know how it looks. I've used it in a video, and if you wanna see how to use it, I'll put my video down below, a little plug there. But this is a very warm eyeshadow palette. It has many reds and then it also has lots of nudes. So you can do like every day, but then you can also like spice it up with some of the really pretty colors in here, which is why I love this palette. You can have one of these palettes and you're not gonna need anything else because it has everything you'll ever need to switch from day to night. It's got the glitters, the shimmers, the foils, the mattes. But this one is very warm toned and a lot of people that have paler skin tones don't like this palette because of how warm it is. So I wanted to include something for everyone and in case your skin color is a little, not a little, it's it's lighter, it's pale, it's more cool toned, I wanted to also include this cool toned palette right here. This is a 35K, not as talked about, not as popular. I've had this one for longer, as you can see, it definitely looks more beat up, but these colors are a lot more cool. You've got, as you can see down here, oh my God, my fingers in the pan. You've got some really like almost blue undertoned grays, some bluey silvers, then you've also got the nudes and a couple warm sh warm shades up here. But I like the general gist of this palette. It is more cool toned. Um, I love these silvers. If you guys know how to rock a silver or a gray eye, send me a picture because I can't figure out ways to make gray eyeshadows look attractive. It's, is that just me? I don't know. but. I wish these palettes had mirrors. Look how much space there is for a mirror that they just let go to waste. <sighs> oh my god, there's, it's so dirty. I really apologize for that, guys. But yeah, this is how the 35K looks. So you'll be winning that and the 350. And then there are two more eyeshadow palettes in here as well. This is the Naked Basics 2. I actually like this one better than the 1 for some reason, which is why I wanted to include this one. I'm pretty sure, maybe I'm not so sure, but I think that this palette has more um, new shades than the Naked Basics 1. I think that one has more repeats, and this one, there's 5 new colors and 1 repeat shade. Um, it's kind of cool toned, this one. It's so hard to open. Uh, this is how it looks. Its mirror has such good quality. I haven't gotten a ton of use out of it just yet. I like using this as base though. This one is a semi-matte, semi sorry. So basically it's like matte but it has some glitter specks in it and it's a little shimmery, you're gonna notice that. I like this color right here though as transitions. I'll mix those two together. And I like this color right here for setting the shadow, putting it all over, making it almost like, you know, a nice eyeshadow base. I like the size of this, it's so so cute. I heard it's really um, it's really similar to the 
Too Faced White Chocolate Bar Palette, which is like a little mini palette. Um, so yeah, it does not come with a brush, sadly, but I think the price tag would go whoop, over the top if it had a brush in it. But yeah, so these are the shades in the Naked Basics 2 palette. I almost clipped my finger just then. The next palette you're going to be winning is the palette that I used in my recent video. I don't know if it's going to be recent when I post this, but the Unicorn Brushes one, and this is the Ciate London Pretty Palette. If you guys have watched that video, then you're going to know a lot about this palette already. It's a really different one. I wanted to include, those were all kind of like nude colors. I wanted to include some fun colors, so it's really dirty up once again. I apologize for that. But as you can see, it has the four shimmers on the bottom, a nude shade. Every single one of the Ciate palettes has this same exact shade called My Tribe in the center of all their palettes, so nothing new there. And we've got two purples, a green, and an orange. Interesting shade selection, but these, these colors are really high quality, and I think that if you like makeup, you'll like this palette a lot. I don't have these colors in any of my other palettes, so that's why I like this one a lot. Um, not the biggest fan of the packaging, however. It looked really cute in the box, as you guys can see, look how cute it looks. And then it's like, oh, you know, this is how it actually looks. And then it, it blinks, right? So it has that kind of like texture going on. It feels like a toy of it. And it's really chunky and thick. Not meaning it's not a good palette. I'm just not in love with the packaging. Hopefully you guys are since you are gonna be winning it. Um, but Ciate is a really good company, I think. I love their makeup stuff. I really want makeup stuff. I love their products and their nail polishes, so that's just a really good brand in my opinion. That is it for the eyeshadow palettes, but now we're gonna move on to other things. I personally am an eyeshadow junkie. It's my favorite makeup product, so I know I knew I had to include lots of those, but now we're gonna be moving on to some other things. Um, this is the Stila. Oh, can you see it? <laughs> Let me read the back. <laughs> Sunset Serenade Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Palette. It's I love Stila packaging. It's always super sleek and elegant and it's like sophisticated. Do you know what I mean? I love how it's kind of reflective. It really reminds me of this one. Um, they're both kind of, ref you guys can see if I hold it like this, you can't see anything, but they're a little reflective. Um, I love it. It's obviously a lot longer than this, but I'll open it now. You guys probably will kind of see inside of it. Um, it has, oh god, cream shades like that. There are five, and the shade names are Petunia, starting from here, Petunia, Peach Blossom, Gerbera, Camilla, and Twilight Rose. And they can be used for lipstick or for blush, and I personally am a huge fan of cream blush. I don't like using powder blush because it makes me just look like ashy. I don't know what it is, but I hate the look of powder blush. Um, I love these two colors right here. I love using these when I want a nude lip. It's hard for me to find nude nude colors that fit my skin. So I like to pop this one on. Oh my God, what, why isn't it? Okay, this one on. But there are definitely other options if your skin color is lighter. I love to use this one right here as a blush. It's like a nice subtle peachy color, but it's also very pinky. And this one be, would be nice if you have a paler skin tone. I just think that this palette can be used for everybody. If you're a lipstick kind of girl, person, a lipstick kind of person, you can use these for your lips. If you like blush, cream blush like myself, you can use it as blush and you can mix and match these colors. I think this palette is just a really nice buy. It is expensive. It's $50 Canadian, so approximately like 35 or 40 American, but it's worth it. I think this is, I love, I love products that have dual purposes that you can use for two things, you know what I mean? Like now you can use bronzers for eyeshadows, so I love how you can use this for your lips or your cheeks. The next one is kind of like a highlighter slash blush. I don't really know what this is, but it's it's called a baked blush illuminator or blush compact illuminator. I can't tell which side is the French side and the English. This is bad. But it is by Laura Mercier and it's in the color Rosé. It's a very pretty, shimmery sort of illuminator thing. It's gorgeous. You guys even can see that how pretty it is. It's like this pretty, 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 it's very pretty. Um, rose, kind of rose gold marble going on. It's really nice to put like here because it adds like a blush 
and a glow. If you aren't about that blinding highlight, this is definitely the product for you. You can sweep this across your cheeks and it doubles as a blush and a highlight. It's not very blinding, like I said, it's more pretty. It's pretty, okay, I'm saying that a thousand times. But this is gorgeous, trust me, it's so, so pretty. I know you guys are gonna love it. And it makes for a really pretty highlight, especially if you have a darker skin tone. It's like a rose gold. It's rose gold for Christ's sake. So next, one of my all-time favorite products is the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Pressed Finishing Powder. That is a lot. This is actually the small size, but I do have the large one, but it's not with me at the moment. And you guys are going to be wanting the larger size. I bought this one first because it is cheaper and I want to see if I like it before I, you know, invested in the big one. But I do like it. Um, I almost finished this one though. I like to keep the plastic in it because I'm weird. It has a big dip in it, don't mind that. Um, but here's how it looks. It is translucent, so it looks very white in the pan. It's very white, you can't even see the dip, but it's translucent. Um, I love Tarte in general. This is part of the Amazonian Clay collection. You can just tell by the packaging, a little rainforest. Such a good powder, it mattifies your skin really nicely. And it's just a good powder to put on everywhere. It's not very good for baking, but it's more like a mattifying primer so if your foundation is looking a little bit shiny just go on with this guy and it'll make your skin look oil free i just love this so much even with no makeup on it just you know if you're oily i get oily in my t-zone sometimes i'll just like brush a little bit of this across my t-zone and it'll just keep my skin matte for the whole day and not making me look shiny which is one of my favorite things about this powder so i think you guys are gonna love it Okay, so I wanted to kind of get everything, like, from every single brand. So next is the Benefit What's Up. What's Up? I don't really know how to say it, because it's spelled W-A-T-T, -T, like a light bulb what. So is it What's Up or What's Up? I don't know. But it's the highlighter stick. Let me read it for a second. Soft focus highlighter for face. So it basically is, like I said, a highlighter stick. And you just go zoom, and then you take this end... And then you just rub it in. This part reminds me, tell me does it remind you of the Maybelline Age Rewind concealer that literally everybody had in like 2007? Not me, I mean I was four. Um, but that is such a throwback product. And this sponge piece kind of reminded me of the Maybelline concealer. No shade though. Um, this is actually a really nice highlighter. Like I said, it's buildable. It isn't blinding. Well, it is blinding at first, but then you gotta like rub it in and it makes it not as blinding. So you have to layer this as well. You can even put over a powder highlighter on top if you are about the blind highlighter. But it is really pretty if you want something subtle. You can put it on your nose, your forehead, your cupid's bow, your chin, your cheeks, your collarbone. Let me just demo this on my collarbone for you guys. Oh man. So, like that. Well, you can't see. Oh, I'm looking at the screen right now. It looks a lot more blinding. You know what? It's actually very blinding, but now I gotta rub it in because it looks like a streak. Imagine if you spot out in public like this. That'd be so funny. My hair is getting in the way. So now I'm just gonna blend it out. I gotta give you guys a demo of what you're gonna be getting. And as you can see, it's a very pretty can highlight. I gotta do the other side now because then I'm gonna look funny for the rest of this video. Oh great. Anyway, if you have kind of subtle looking collarbones and you want them to pop, this is what you need to get. I don't have subtle collarbones. Mine are actually very huge as you guys can see. If I just lean forward, they just pop right out. So I don't really need that, but you might. You might want it. And the last face product is this primer right here. Oh, oh god. It is the Step 1 Skin Equalizer Makeup Mattifying Base by Makeup Forever. This primer is so popular. Every single Sephora I went to, it was one of the recommended products. You know that little aisle they have when you walk right in? It's like the most popular recommended whatever. I kept seeing it. I'm like, what is so good about this dang concealer? So then I'm like, you know what? I'll try it. And it's actually life changing. I can't even explain how good this is. It makes your skin actually matte. Like you put it on and it doesn't even feel sticky. It makes the perfect base for your makeup and it literally makes all of your oil go away. So you don't have to do any of that other stuff at the end to make the oil go away. Yep. Such a good primer. 
this is my favorite primer. It's better than Benefit Professional. It's better than Too Faced Hangover or whatever. It's better than everything. And you guys need to try this. I think this brand is so under underestimated and underrated. It's such a good primer. Oh my god, I, I can't. But you've probably seen it in your local Sephora and been wondering what's the whole deal with this guy. But it's actually really nice and I love it. Hopefully you guys will too. Okay, so I'm done with the face things. Now we're going to get into more eye things, even though we already just did a bunch of eye things. Anyways, eyeliners. So you guys are going to be winning these two wonderful, wonderful, these Stila eyeliners. They are felt tip, and I, I already included some black eyeliners in here, but I wanted to give more fun ones because, you know, Change it up a little bit. Don't just keep doing black. Do brown, do blue. So this is in the color Midnight, and this is in the color Moss. Not a very attractive sounding color, but I like these um, eyeliners because they aren't so like bright, you know what I mean? This isn't like a bright neon green, no, this isn't a bright blue. So they're actually pretty subtle and you can wear them. You could actually wear them, you know? You can change up your look one day if you're going to work or if you're going to school, put a little bit of, you know, uh, blue eyeliner on and it's not so noticeable but if people look at your makeup every day they're gonna notice the difference they're gonna be like oh my god like your eyeliner looks so pretty today is it is that navy blue they're gonna actually notice it without it looking too crazy and out of the blue and not professional so I love using navy blue eyeliners they look great for all eye colors don't think it's only for people with blue eyes whatever they look amazing and even this one right here it's subtle but it's catchy like it's a little mix of both if you guys know what I mean I'm talking way too much about these these eyeliners, but you'll see when you get them. The next two are black, because you're gonna have some black. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs Felt Tip. Can you guys see? The Marc Jacobs Felt Tip Liner. Just your regular felt tip. I love this one. It's pigmented, it's black, it's dark, it's, it's precise. You can do precision. And I love felt tip liners, and this one is by far my favorite one. Mine's running out, it's running low. I need to pick up a new one, but one of my favorites. And to go with that, I want to give you guys a, another Marc Jacobs eyeliner because, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the water liner. You can do it to tight line your water line or to, wait, tight line your up here or do the down here. I don't know what they're called. But this one, once again, it's not like it irritating on your eye. It's small. Once again, you can get precision when you're doing this and it lasts long and it's waterproof. So. I think if a thing is gonna go right here, it needs to be waterproof, but most of them aren't. And I love this because it's it'll stay all day. The biggest issue with water liners and tight liners and stuff like that is that it goes. You know, you put it on and then maybe an hour later it's gone. But this one stays all day. The next one you're gonna be winning is once again another eyeliner. I wanted to give you guys all options. This is the Sephora cream eyeliner in the color Bewitch Me. It's a very, very pretty, like shimmery purple. I've used this a lot, but I just love this. It's so pretty. And I use this sometimes as well as an eyeshadow base. So I'll put it in the center of my eye or something and I'll blend it out and it'll be like a dramatic blur of like this purple. It's such a pretty, pretty eyeliner. And if you write a smoky, like brown or neutral eye look, just, you know, change it up a bit and do this purple eyeliner. And this, such, such a good formula, I can't. It's smooth, it's even, it'll just gel on your eye. <laughs> Go on so nicely, I love this so much. The last thing you're gonna win is, once again, something that I have in small size, but you guys are gonna win in full size. And I got this from Sephora because you know when you get like a lot of points and they give you like a reward. So I got this lipstick from Bite Beauty. And I was like, okay, like I never heard of this brand before, is this gonna be good? And I actually like this lipstick better than the one that I bought that day. So I bought a lipstick and then I got this lipstick as a reward and I'm like, I just got two for one and I like this one better. So it's a very pretty berry color. I think once again would work for every single skin tone. And I tried this, I'm like, what is this brand? So I went on their website, I ordered a bunch of new things for them, from them. Such good formulas. They're, they're just smooth, they're creamy, they're pigmented, and their matte lipsticks are the best thing in the entire world. You guys don't understand, you have to try these. Bite Beauty is not playing, they're not. 
they're not. I think they're also a very underrated company, but I know Manny MUA likes them a lot. And their packaging is so sleek. So you just took a bite out of the See, Isn't that so cute? It's like a nice matte gray. So you guys are going to be winning this color called, oh, what's it called? Beetroot. It is kind of the color of beets, not going to lie, in full size. So that's all. So I hope you guys like the things in this giveaway. Once again, thank you, thank you so, 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 so much for 500 subscribers. Once again, to enter, all I have to do is be subscribed to my channel, Sanjana Jones, and leave a comment down below saying what videos you'd like to see from me in the future. Uh, that's basically all. Don't forget to enter. I wish you guys luck. Hope you win. I hope if you're watching this, you win. This giveaway will be lasting three weeks. It'll be open for that long. And I'll post another video, probably not just a video saying, you won, congratulations. I'll probably post a video. And then in the video say, you know, blah, blah, blah has won the giveaway. And I'll also post it in the description box of this video as well. So check for that video in three weeks time. Good luck to all of you who are entering. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I love you.